Today I want to tell you about my sister, Diane. She and I had an idyllic middle class upbringing. My dad was a university professor at the University of Nebraska. We lived in middle America. Growing up, I watched her have mood swings, get angry, battle with my parents. Somewhat normal teenage rebellious type of behavior. She had problems with um, her self-esteem. I think she didn't feel very confident in herself. She excelled through school, got a microbiology degree, got accepted to medical school. She met her husband in medical school. They got married right after school was over, before the residencies. They seemed to have everything that we would ever want in the American dream. Diane would have been seven years old this year, but she died 29 years ago. She died of depression. I spoke with Diane by phone many times. She talked about the worry that she had that somehow her partners, her medical group partners would find out that she was being treated for depression, that she had attempted suicide. You know, I think about her all the time when we talk about this high suicide rate for physicians. The stigma still exists, and that stigma needs to be acknowledged, it needs to be lessened, it needs to be eliminated. Team Health has anonymous resources to help, but I think too few of those providers, those medical staff, physicians, APCs, nurses, techs, too few of them will access those resources. Now, Diane and I had planned on being retired, retired on a beach in Naples, Florida, living in a condo, walking the sand, picking up to seashells, watching the children playing in the waves. That never came to be. I'm sharing this story to help in bringing awareness to the pervasiveness of mental health issues and the need for all of us to reach out and help and be alert for those small insidious signs and symptoms that our coworkers, our colleagues are struggling.